Let's install a new print driver on a Windows 2019 server for a network printer. So what we want to do is in Server Manager, go to Tools, and from here, go all the way down to Print Management. And Print Management is there by default. You don't have to install it as a roller feature. All you got to do is click on it. And we see in Print Management a lot of different things to look at. We see all printers, drivers, printers not ready, et cetera, et cetera. So what you want to do is just connect to your local computer server and click on drivers. Now, if you're trying to connect to a, a remote one, you just right click on print servers and just connect to that other server. So now that we're in drivers, we're going to want to add a new driver. So we'll right click and choose add driver. However, we're going to see there's not a lot of drivers by default, so we're probably going to have to get one from the vendor. Now, we see three different processor types. You'll need to know which processor type you have. It's uh, pretty simple to go into Control Panel and go into System, and it should tell you what's going on. So we see we're on a Windows Server 2019 standard 64-bit operating system. So if yours is 32-bit, it'll say 32-bit. If yours is an ARM, it'll say ARM. Most likely, it's going to be a 64-bit in most cases. Now, we don't see a lot of different manufacturer or vendor uh, drivers in this list. So if we don't have what we want, we can go to the manufacturer to download it. So I'm going to hp.com. And most vendors have a support button and a software and drivers button, so you can download the latest drivers. Click on software and drivers. And now we want to identify our product. So I'm going to click on printer. And I'm going to say we have a 4630 printer. But you can type in whatever model yours is. And now I have some drivers that we can install. By the way, if you see a universal print driver, try that one first because it usually works pretty much for all different uh, types of modern standard printers. Not necessarily for all-in-one printers like this one is, but in most cases it, it'll work. So we've got uh, two different types of drivers and they're both the same date. So what I would suggest is we don't take the 162 megabyte one because it's got a whole bunch of stuff we don't want as well as the 41 megabyte one. That one probably has a lot of stuff, but not quite as many as, uh, uh, as the 162 megabyte one. So you can click on download and then save it to your downloads folder or wherever you want, and then we'll go from there. Here is our file. Now, I don't recommend that you install the executable. Here's what I recommend that you do. You double-click on the file, and it's either going to unzip it or it's going to try to install a program. So if it tries to install a program, I'll show you how to avoid that so you don't end up, end up installing a whole bunch of software you don't want. We'll let it finish extracting. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back into File Explorer. We'll open a new File Explorer up. And while it's extracting, it should be just about done. We'll go to the C drive, and then we'll go to this Users folder. And what's going to happen is, is this file is going to unpack itself and put all those files into a temp folder. So if I double-click on Users... And now it's trying to run the executable. So we're going to cancel out of that. And unfortunately, the only way to do that is to go to Task Manager and end that task. Okay, that's done. Now we'll go to Administrator. And you can go to whoever you're logged in as. And then I'm going to go to App Data. Now, if you don't see App Data, just go to View and then click on Hidden Files, and then App Data will show up. And then after app data, we'll go to the local, because we're not using roaming profiles. Most of us aren't. And don't click on HP, because there's nothing that we need in there. It's all inside temp. So look at today's date. Double click. And there's all of our files. Now, we don't need all these files. All we need is an INF file and a DLL file. So that way, we can avoid having to install all of this other stuff that HP wants us to have, such as pop-ups when the ink is low and that kind of stuff. So we'll click on this section here, we'll copy the path, click Have Disk, and we'll paste in the path, and we'll click OK, and there's our print driver. Now if you want to install the fax driver too, that's fine, it's up to you if it has that kind of thing. Click Finish, and there's our print driver. Now we can assign that to a printer if we want to. Now, we don't see a printer that we want here, so we'll click on Add Printer. And I'm going to say it's a TCP IP one. 
I'm going to uncheck auto detect because I want it to use a specific driver. Now it might take a couple of minutes to get through this contacting printer. It just depends on how fast it can communicate with the printer that you have. We'll choose the generic network card, which works for most printers. And we'll say to install a new driver. Now we've already installed the driver, so now it shows up under manufacturer. We don't have to hunt for it anymore. We'll choose our HP 4630. You can choose whether or not to share it. And now it's installing the printer and it's now successful. So that's how you install a new network print driver and printer in Microsoft Windows Server 2019.